skill. If I can do it, you can do it. I'll try it. Watch him, folks. Remember, if he drops him right, they cover the spot, and he wins a valuable prize. An honest game of skill for amateurs. You've got five big plates, folks, to cover one little spot. An honest game of skill. Now watch him, folks. He's doing fine. That he just missed. Here you are, folks. An honest game of skill. Drop the hoop to the bottom of the post, and the watch is yours. It's a game of skill, not a game of chance. The harder you hit me, the better I like it. And chance the odds are all against me. But that's my hard luck and not yours. I'm Mace Townsley, known from coast to coast as the gambling fool. I can't help gambling no more than a fish can help swimming. I was born on a bet. Here they are, gents, here they are. Three little cards, two kings and an ace. You see me lay them down, and all you got to do is lay a bet and pick the ace. Uh, I'll bet 50. Okay, brother. I'll take this one. No, I'll play the middle one, Elmer. No, I want to play this one. You show him, Elmer. 58! Boy, you sure did pick it, didn't you? Oh, boy, you're good. Oh, 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 you Oh, come on, Elmer. It wasn't your dough. Forget it. Hello, gorgeous. Why haven't I seen you before? Just got in tonight, handsome. First day on the lot, and right away you meet me. What a break. As how? Well, I had a date with a townie, the banker's daughter. Not a break for me. Oh, I said had, sister, had. You pushed her out of the picture, baby. When and where? I'm bunking on the train. Mm -hmm. After the show, eh? Save it for the low lights, eh, baby? I'll be seeing you, handsome. Inside, thank you very much, and yours, They said sir. I'd find Mr. Regan here, the legal you... adjuster. <laughs> You'll find him in the dressing room, just around the tent. Thank you so much. You gotta keep that blow off tone down, or there'll be a raid. I can't get no coconuts with a refined show. Well, you can go to the limit tomorrow night. Sure. Getaway night. Is Mr. Regan here? That's me. My purse was snatched. All the money I had in the world. Sixty-two dollars on my railroad ticket. I'm stranded. Can't you with Tony? Tony. A local dame. I was with the musical show that played the opera house tonight. I quit. I was on my way to the station to catch the train for Chicago. Go on back to your troop. They'll get you out of town. They left for Waycross by bus. It's a sad story, sister. But we ain't fallen for any hard luck gags from chorus dames. I'm stranded, I tell you. If you don't listen, I'll go to the police. Wait a minute. I'll give you a break. The Connie's heading for Cheyenne. Oh, Blutch. Yeah. Mr. Brown, this young lady is a dancer from a musical show. She needs a job. Have you got one for her? Sure, 12 a week and flop. You mean work here? Yeah, this is the dame tent. The girl show. I am. Said you was a chorus dame, didn't you? In a musical show. We got music. Can't you hear it? But that's... Yeah, that's the blow-off. Blow-off? Special show for the saps. 
He won't have to work in that, just the regular show. Think it over, sister. If you want the job, you'll find me on the train. You sap. Stare at me, a wide sucker. Oh, listen, will you? I'm trying to tell yeah, you. Yeah, I know. He pulled a fast one on me. Never mind telling me anything after this. I get a buck. Exactly a buck, see? That tells everything. Beat it. Now we're washed up. Oh, wait a minute, will you? I'm willing to make good. I got some dough. 62 bucks. You've been taking pockets again? No, I won this shooting crap. Yeah, here's your end. One more break like that and it'll pay your end. I'll see you on a train. They're that homegrown blonde's waiting for you at the Owl Hotel. I'm staying on a lot. I won't do it. You won't do what? I won't take an automobile ride. I will dance, but I won't with you. And I won't go to your apartment to look at pictures. I got some pretty pictures. Put that down. Sure, later, when we get that. Oh, I'm... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit you so hard. Accident? Sort of. Lucky break for you, I got one of these with me. One of what? Accident policy. I'm taking it out of myself in case I have another accident when I try to pick that up again. Yeah. Guess you must leave with your chin a lot if you have to carry an accident policy. It's my business, baby. I sell them. Yeah. Well, you're working on the wrong side of the street, fella. Hey, wait a minute. Drew, did you just get into town? Just leaving. I missed my train. Where to? Chicago. Say, I'm vice president of the Chicago Insurance Company. And, and I could use a smart girl like you. I'm not smart, mister. If I was, I wouldn't stand here listening to you. Hey, listen, you got possibilities. You're not getting anything, Wisey, not even a phone number. How about talking it over at dinner? If you had a name, baby, what would it be? It'd be Lily Taylor. Yeah. Mine's Townsley. Mace Townsley, known from coast to coast. As the big insurance man from Shy. Nobody ain't gonna give me the run around flash another day. Hey, wait a minute, will you? You can point just as easy sitting down. He played around with me all week. Oh, yeah? Well, that's a record in his vicinity. How about tossing that toss up, kid? Sure, come on, toss it. Hello, Pluff. Hello, oh, Willie. Buy you a little drink? Sure, what can I lose? <laughs> well, I'm a great hometown booster. That's why I'm glad I ran into you tonight. Yeah, you live around the loop? Loop? Where's that? What? A Chicago girl don't know where the loop is? Oh, I'm not a Chicago girl. Well, you told me you just missed a shy train. Well, you don't have to come from every town you miss a train for. I was going there on a visit. Are you a townie? I live here with my aunt. When we get through here, I, uh, I gotta drop around to my office for a minute. Well, I thought you said you were from Chicago. Well... A businessman like me has to have an office everywhere. In a regular office. When I'm in town, I, uh, I got rooms at the Owl Hotel. All full of pretty pictures? Let's skip it. Say, as far as your aunt knows, you're on a train to oh, shine. No, I phoned her from the station and told her I missed the train. And if I stay out late, my big brother will start looking for me. And is he brutal? Your big brother, huh? Yes, he's awful about me staying out late. Well, what does he call late? Well, he starts getting nervous just after sundown. I guess police work makes him like that. Police work? Mm-hmm. He's chief of the strong arm force down at the station. Oh, yeah? And is he tough on card shops? He can't help arresting them any more than a fish can help swimming. Waiter. Check. Two dollars. Not leaving, are you? Yeah. 
Don't think I haven't had a good time, because I haven't. It's been a pleasure to meet you, babe, and just as much of a pleasure to say goodbye. Goodbye. Hello, baby. Think I wasn't going to show up? Can't you see I got company? Ah, oh, that's okay, babe. I'm broad-minded. Come on. Oh, thanks for the drink. I ought to bounce something off of you, standing me up for a chorus dame. I wasn't out with no chorus dame. I seen her in that turkey show last night at the Opera House. Chorus dame? Sure. <laughs> What's she been handing you, a convent routine? Wait here, I'll be back. When? Tuesday. Looking for someone, sister? Can you tell me where I can find Mr. Brown? Car up front. You'll do. You can start to work tomorrow night. Hey, Oh. This is Cora. Works the blow off. Hey, you'll flop in the troop car. Oh, yeah? New number, eh? On, beat it. Toast this down, make you feel better. No. Listen, don't pay no attention to her. Where are you going? To the troop car. Ah, uh, you don't want to flop with that mob. You stay here. No! <laughs> when you change your mind, come back for your bag. With them, Listen, baby, I'm half now. To what? You're gag. You're a Corin. Why the sleigh ride? Maybe I thought you were Santa Claus. Do I look like Santa Claus? You look like something I don't believe in. Cracking day, eh? Oh, I crack a nut from time to time. Why didn't you tell me you was a Corin? You were too young to be told. Well, I've been places. Yeah, but I bet never to the same place twice. Guys like you think, because the girls in the chorus, all you got to do is buy her a dish of chow mein. Listen, I was willing to shoot the bankroll on you. But then my fall off your short change yourself. Let me out. Sure, later. Let me out. Please let me go. Say, what are you doing here? I came for a job. Nursing the animals? Oh, in the dame pen. <laughs> you're sure working your way up. First you're a chorus dame, and now you're a coach dancer. My, my, what do your big brother say? I'm not a coach dancer. Well, you just said... I've got to take a job, because I'm broke. Somebody snatched my bag. Yeah? How many bags you got? One. Somebody snatched it, eh? I found it later. Yeah, I know. You put your big brother on a case. What are you doing? Getting wise to a wise dame. I'm sorry I fooled you. Honest. Come on, baby. Take them off. Take what off? The wings. I guess it's no use going on trying to buy them off. Nobody believes you. Nobody cares if they do believe you. What are you talking about? You wouldn't believe a care. Only, but you're kind of different. You're fresh like the others. But, but it's harder to stay mad with you. Was that your first chorus job? Yeah, but I was fired. I thought I'd go home to my aunt in Chicago if she'd take me back after running away. Yeah, your aunt and the boyfriend. I'll give you one for Ripley, Wisey. 
Chorus girls with turkey musical show never had a boyfriend. What? Except one. Only, he wasn't a boyfriend. Not exactly. He never even kissed me. Sounds like the bunk, doesn't it? I've had so much experience wrestling, fellas. I bet I could throw the Blisco. The way things have been going tonight. I didn't have much fight left. You win. Thanks for letting me break the toehold. <laughs> Turn off the rain. I guess I'm acting like a fool. Yeah. Been worrying about that up to now. Gee, you're a pretty good fella, sort of. Ah, uh, sign off. You, you'll be telling me your bedtime story next. Car full of animals and a good dame. Nuts. Get up. Come on, I want to give Cleo her breakfast. Show pulls out. Go in there and hook a fish. I'll be across the midway. Okay. Uh, make it snappy. Where's Lily? Put her clothes off. Hey, look. Yeah. Tell her she worked the blow off. The cops are coming. How much dough you got in the house? With the blow off, about 500 bucks. You ready for the blow off? Well, we're going to get a pinch. If you chase that mob without a show, they'll wreck the tent. Cheaper to pay the fine. Get the dames on. Get ready for a fast pull down. I'll take care of the rap. All on for the blow off. It's snappy. You told me this morning I wouldn't have to work in the blow hole. Well, you can still duck it. Go on, put your clothes on and meet me in my compartment. You know, nothing could be harder to take than that. No. Oh, all right, then. You're on next. Take it easy. Stick around. Who owns this show? He ain't here. Come on. Get the dames out. Let me put my clothes on. Shut your face. Oh, come on, get going. Come on, let's go. Never mind, go on ahead. All right, take care of them there now. Take care of them. Them dames will get a jail rap unless they got 50 bucks. Yeah. Lewd performance. Yeah, I know. Who's taking the rap for this show? Regan, the adjuster. He's on his way over to court. Okay. Are they, uh, 
They spring in the dames? What for? We'll get more to the next town. Tough break, Beeson. You got any dough to pay your fine? I told you my bag was snatched. How much was in it? Doesn't matter now, Mace. How much? Sixty-two dollars. Sixty-two dollars? Huh? Yeah. You were awful nice to me last night, staying in the animal car. I got locked in. Besides, I like sleeping with animals. Goodbye, Mace. So long. Come on, let's go. One that dough on dice, eh? Well, you slipped me the office to blow up the game. And I told you a thousand times that when I passed you the look, you yell your pocket was picked. Not to pull a snatch yourself. I didn't pull no snatch, honest. A bag just sort of caught on my arm. All right, all right, let it lay. How much dough you got? Two bucks. I got Ginny and big hearted last night. That's Three dollars. I want 50 bucks. Well, I ain't got 50 bucks. Get it. Thought you said that dip stuff was out. Get me 50 bucks. Okay. <clears throat> it might have looked indecent to the cops, Judge, but my mind was clean. The carnival management has already pleaded guilty to conducting a lewd performance and paid its fine. You were in the show. The sentence stands. Can you pay the fine? Uh, well, uh, if you let me have an hour, I think I know where I can get it. Take her away. Miss Crosby. Come on, speak up. I tell you, Blue Chai ain't got the dough. Where is it? I don't know. Where is it? Mace took it to spring the new dame. Spring the new dame, huh? Dust him off. Six months. Oh, Judge, be a sport. Gee, I got a mother that needs a flock of operations. I'm sorry. Miss Lillian Taylor. What's your true name? Lily, Lillian Taylor. Where's your home? I was born in Chicago. Married? No, sir. Your mother and father? Dead. Can you pay the fine? No, sir. I'll pay it, Judge. Oh, May. Is he a friend of yours? Yes, sir. He, he is a friend of mine. I will fine you $50 and sentence you to six months in the county jail. I will suspend the prison sentence on condition that you get out of town with the carnival. If you're picked up in the city again, you will be committed without further trial. Is that clear to you? Yes, sir. She's leaving with the show tonight. Pay the clerk. Mace, you would... Never mind the orchids. Stick close to the train. Mace, you were... You were just... I told you to let it lay, didn't I? What happened to May and Stella? They're staying in town for the social season. But you're fine, Pete, did you? Come on, you're getting off the train. I gotta leave town. Not on this train. But I haven't got a cent. You can get credit at the old hotel on your face, kid. Come on. Spats? No. Where's the wall? It's gonna be right here. You got a date with a couple of roasties. They just finished off your sidekick. Spats? Yes, yeah, Spats, and you're next. Paying her fine with my dough.
Dollar a day single, do you want it? Yes. Hello, Mary. You've got the wrong room. No, I ain't. You're Mary Thomas of New York, ain't you? Yes, but... Uh... Just thought you might be lonesome. Got a little drink here. Beat it. Hello, Pete. Hello. Ain't you leaving with the carny? Oh, I'm uh, staying over. Puff in? No. What's this? New skirt and 220? Yeah, swell looker from New York. Yeah? Give me a 221. That's the way I like them. Now beat it, Fresh! Oh. Just another accident, huh? Uh, I, I didn't know it was you. Why don't you fly a danger signal? Give a guy a chance. There's only one thing I'm letting you do for me, and that's leave me alone. Then why'd you pay my fine? The guy that nabbed your dough was my shield, see? He split with me. My end was 31 bucks. That's the way we work, see? Ah, don't be dumb. So that's why. Why else? I ain't letting any dame have nothing on me. You took me to dinner with my own money. Well, how did I know it was your dough? The big insurance man. That guy's got a right to pull a line when he's selling a bill of goods. When you got me out, I thought it was because... Because what? Oh, what does it matter what I thought? When you knocked at the door, you didn't know I was in here. I was looking for a dame named Mary Thomas. You're just a cheap chaser. Hey, listen. But someday you'll chase the wrong girl. And will she make a sap out of you? She can't, see? Any dame that plays with me knows what to expect because she knows that no matter what I tell her, I'm handing her a line. Pete said you just checked in. Yeah. I thought you blew with the carny. No, I jumped a train. Oh, honey, you're all wet. Yeah, yeah. I, I landed in a puddle. <laughs> Did you come back for me, Mace? Sure I did. You know how I am about you, baby. Let's get out of here. breakfast with you? I, uh, I always start the day alone.
What you want, lady? A cup of coffee and maybe a roll. Wait a minute, mister. I haven't got any money. And I ain't got no coffee, neither. Have it on me, kid. No. Look, you give me a cup of coffee and I'll wash dishes for an hour. You don't have to do any pearl diving. I'll stake you the coffee and sinkers. Oh, independent, huh? Why don't you park somewhere else? Ham on rye and a cup of coffee. Okay. You give me rolls and coffee, I wash dishes, now we're even. Uh, that chauffeur, he's paid. I'm ahead. How much? Ten percent. How much does this cost? Ten percent. Now we're even. Come in. What's this? Listen, can't you see I'm busy? Oh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Get out of here. You ain't gonna dry me off. I don't intend to. Dry yourself off. What's it for, Mace? Well, it ain't what you just used it for. It's for polishing furniture and windows and things. Okay, baby, now you know. Scram. Macy, are you selling this? Yeah. I'm wrestling up enough dough to put you on the bus tonight for shy and out of my life. Why can't I go along with you? You forgetting the six months wrap if the cops pick you up? I'll risk it if you let me help. You don't have to. Here's my customers. I sign the orders myself. They'll never get wise in time. I won't take that kind of money. What do you care what kind it is? Would take us a year to save 30 bucks rusting on the square. How do you know? The joints you can get into are crawling with peddlers. The other places you can't crash. Why not? The hallman and the superintendents won't let you in. If you were smart enough, they'd invite you. <laughs> Look who's telling me. Yeah. Look and learn how. Hey, that's my outfit. I know. But if you don't sell it, I will. Good morning, madam. You have a squeaking hinge on your door. Well... Uh, it's little things like squeaks that uh, paved the way for sleepless nights, loss of appetite, and quite often, nervous breakdown. It's much better. It's the sign right here, man.
Good morning, madam. You have a squeaking hinge on your door. I know it. I like it that way. Four out of five have it and like it. Have what? Squeaking doors. Four bucks. Bird seed. Oh, we'll do better tomorrow, maybe. Yeah. I wasn't so bad. Was I, Mace? Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. But I show Miss Spats. There was a shill for you. And I had to lose him. Why? I kind of you. Me? I had to take a run out on a con, you see. Well, what did I have to do with it? What do you think I got the door to spring you? From Blutch. He gave it to you? Spats lifted it. Stole it? You had Spats steal money to pay my fine? Spats lifted your door and bounced you on a Connie. He lifted Blutch's door and bounced you off. Makes it even, don't it? I'm sorry you lost your shoe. But I'll try to make up for him. Yeah? A wise dame can make a lot of dough on her, Connie. But I'm not a wise dame. What are you trying to do, a spring dance? I'm trying to get that towel. Why didn't you say something? Lady, don't have to ask a gentleman for assistance. Imitate a gentleman once more, Mace, and bring Lady Lily her shoes and stockings. Go and get them yourself. I don't take orders from dames. You're a fool for dames, Mace. Any dame can wrap you around her finger if she wants to. You try wrapping me around your finger and see what happens. Why should I? I don't want you around my finger. Great. And I don't like you. <laughs> You understand English? Yes, Mace, I understand. I don't like you. Well, for... It was almost ready to drop off. Listen, if buttons are going to fall off my clothes, I don't need you around to help them fall off. Buttons have been falling off my clothes I'll sew it on. You ain't sewing no buttons on for me. I can sew. And I can suck. How'd you like it if I sucked you on a jaw? <laughs> I wouldn't like it. Mm. And I don't like you pulling my buttons off, just because you know how to sew them back on. Give me that button. I want that button. Give me a vest. Say, listen. When I first meet you, I get a sock and a jaw. Then I get towels with water, and then I get a knife for a window washer. Next you pull buttons off me, and now you want my vest. Oh, come here. Get this straight, baby. Now stand still. Now listen, baby. Oh, stop calling me baby. Huh? My name's Lily, remember? I call all dames baby. All right, Wisey. Don't call me Wisey. I don't like it. And I don't like baby. Well, that can't be oh, stop growling. I'm not afraid of you. Growling dogs don't bite. Yeah. Well, maybe it's better for you if I keep growling, huh? There. I'm letting you get away with murder, see? Because there's one thing I never did yet. One thing. Goodbye, innocent.
Do you see what I see? Yeah? Well, drink up and I'll go out and reload it. Don't let a hearse run over you. Okay, baby, I'll be right back. Wait a minute. Hmm? I'll dress and go with you. Okay. Let's go dancing somewhere. So are they. Uh, but first you'll have to go change your shirt. Yeah? What's the matter with it? Look at your collar, it's all torn. No, that's nothing. Nobody will notice it. Oh, honey, please. A girl likes to be proud of a good-looking girl like you. All right, all right. And watch how pretty I'll make myself. Work hard. It's a shirt. Look at it. It's your shirt, isn't it? Of course it's my shirt. Whose shirt do you think it is? All right, it's your shirt. Then what? Feel it. Yes, I washed it. Feel it? Well, shirts always get wet when you wash them. Oh, am I going to wear it? Oh, you want to wear it? No, no, I want to look at it. That's the only reason I keep this one good shirt, just so I can look at it. Well, Mace, I didn't know you wanted to wear it tonight. I washed it because it was so dirty. What do you mean, dirty? I only wore it three times. Only three times? Well, maybe it was a little wrinkled. You can't expect a dame to dance around with a guy that's ringing wet, can you? You're going dancing. Who is? Oh, you know. Oh. Well, what's the matter with the shirt you've got on? Oh, there's a little rip here, something. It'll have to do now. I'm sorry. Well, that don't dry it. Oh, forget it, forget it. Are those mine? I don't know, but you made the hole in it. All right, all right. Have a good time. May. What? Come here a minute, will you? What? Come here. Do you want to dance very much? Sure I do. I wish you didn't. Why? I wish you wanted to spend the evening with me. What do I want to spend the evening with you for? I don't know. I don't know either. Well... Wait a minute. Let me see that collar. Where is it? Right here. Oh, that's nothing. Hardly shows at all. Just a little rip. Look. What? Oh, look. <laughs> but, Mace, I didn't do it. it. It just did it itself. Oh, you didn't do it. You didn't do it. You never done anything. I never saw anything like it in my life. Every time you move your hands, there's a rat. Oh, baby, don't I wish it was you. See how rotten it is? See how easy it tears? Listen, right at this moment, I could tear a mattress. Oh, Mace, don't get so excited. Oh, shut up. What are you doing? Keep away from me. Oh, you can't mean that. Keep away, Keep I tell you. If you tear this shut, I'll smack you down. You get your death of cold. Double pneumonia ain't nothing after a session with you. Give me that sleeve. Take it off and I'll iron it. What? I'll iron it. It'll only take a minute. Give it to me. You got an iron? Of course I have. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? You don't give me time to think. Always jumping around. Jumping around is good. With you around, you gotta jump to live. Never heard so much talk about a shirt. Listen, iron it, will you? And stop beefing. What are you doing? Oh, I'm... I'm looking for something. You'll never find it. Mace? Yeah? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? You're getting a shirt. What do you think I'm doing? Then you wasn't waiting for a streetcar. Listen, beat it. I'll only be a minute. Well, it still seems kind of funny to me. Then you do the laughing. That ain't funny to me. Come on, that's dry enough. I never catch cold. Mace. Can I 
school now? Or do you want to press my suit? Listen, Nate. It seems like things are working around, so we can't help it. What things? What are you talking about now? Please listen. I said things were... I want you to stay here so much. You see what I mean? I don't see nothing. Well, listen to me. Don't keep saying listen to me. How can I help it? You've got to, though. Just like I'd listen to you if... If what? I don't want to be alone here. I just can't be alone. Why don't you go somewhere? There's nowhere to go. Won't you stay? You mean you sit around and talk? That's all. Let me see. All right. Now I'm sitting. Now we start talking. Think we're going to have a lot of weather this spring? <laughs> That's it. Now don't you think it's swell? Don't I think it's swell? <laughs> it's a swell I could suck somebody. Oh, pardon me. Lady Lily. <laughs> you are sweet. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Now I suppose it's my turn to say that you're sweet. What an evening. Well, it's a new experience for you. Yeah, it's new, all right. And I hope it's the last. Haven't you ever sat in a room with a girl and just talked? Doesn't that mean anything to you? Doesn't it? You mean... It's just sitting here and looking at you? That's right. Just because... Because you're a girl? That's right. No, it don't. Why doesn't it, Mace? Why? That's what I can't understand. Well, you don't seem like a girl to me. What do I seem like? Oh, well, you... You don't seem like nothing. Why don't I, is what I'd like to know. Well, because... Because you're just good. You mean... Good and dull. All right. But I'm sick of you calling me good. Yeah? Yes, I am. And I'm sick of being good, too. For what? Don't take it that way. I will take it that way. In other words, I don't think you're any good. You or any other man. So I'm being good for nothing. What do you want out of life? One girl after another, and that's all. No, you're no good at all. Ah, oh, you're raving over my head. I know I am. Lots of things are over your head. Anything but dames like her are over your head. Go on with us. You haven't got anything. You haven't got a nice thought in you. And I don't know why I want to spend a second with you. And I don't anymore. Hey, what are you talking about? What is all this? Let me go. Oh, Let me Lily, go. Listen. Let me oh, go. Oh, yeah. Get out. I hate this place. Hate? Why? Oh, well, you know. Here I am, a guy that thinks he knows his groceries, and what happens? Now I got to carry him home every night. Home? Sure. We get a few bucks together, have a little house, clutter it up with kids, settle down to one breakfast after another. Are you ready to go? Well, you haven't answered me. Am I to understand this is a proposal of marriage? Well, what, what do you think it is? An invitation to a clam bake? 
Before I answer, tell me this. This offer, is it because you still think I'm good? Yeah, I suppose so. Anyway, I'm offering to marry you. Ain't that enough? I'll marry you on one condition. What's that? If I like the ring. What ring? If you're going to marry a girl, you've got to give her a ring. Oh, don't worry about that. But I do worry about it. The ring decides it. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the ring. And do you know what the ring will cost exactly? What? A million dollars. Huh? In other words, the answer is no. No? No. N-O. So, that's the way you feel about it, eh? Yes, that's the way I feel about it. And one more little item. We continue for a few more days together because we're in business together. And strictly business, if you see what I mean. You mean... I'm glad you see what I mean. Do you mind taking these in? And we'll go out for breakfast. That's all you need, and then you're off. Chicago at last. It hasn't taken so long, has it, May? A month today. A month of strictly business. Oh, that long? Yeah. You tired, or do you want to keep going this afternoon? Yeah, a little tired. Tomorrow. Well, tomorrow at six, you hop the rat left. Uh-huh. One more day, huh? That's right. Hey, wait. Walk behind me for a minute. All right. Is it the heat? No. I was just wondering what it would be like pounding pavements without seeing you, that's all. Come on. Hello, sweetheart. When are we going to have breakfast again? Hey, wait a minute. It's all right. What's all right? She's all right, brother. What's the breakfast guy? It's a long story. Once upon a time... Come on, come on. What happened? <laughs> Nothing. He paid for my breakfast once at Nick's lunchroom. He didn't need to because I washed dishes for it. Oh, you wash dishes? Yes, I wash dishes. That's Nick. All right, all right. So you wash dishes. Yes, I wash dishes. Listen, try walking alone again. Any news? Plenty. Yeah, what? You wouldn't be interested. What have you got? Hey, wait a minute. This is news. But, Mace, when did all this happen? Oh, I uh, saw an ad the other day, see, and I sent Cook a wire. Who are you going to get for the woman? I'll pick up a dame somewhere. Your letter's from Chicago, huh? Yep. Love letter, huh? Yep, again. I always knew you had a bird in Chicago. Yes, you always said so. He's gonna meet you at the station, ain't he? I think he said he would. Let me see. I'll say he will. Says he'll come halfway to meet me. Come on, let's rustle those three bucks this afternoon so she'll be sure to make it. All right. Maybe you can catch the train tonight. Oh, that would be asking too much. Halfway to meet a dame, eh? Pretty soft to have a guy like that, hmm? 
Very soft as right. You'd like him. Like him? I'd love him. This is the only apartment for rent we have in the house. Like it? Oh, it's beautiful. Good afternoon, madam. Can I interest you in a little household novelty? Well, I wouldn't say no. Right off. Hey, what are you doing here? Just selling something? We don't allow no peddlers in this building. Oh, come on. Hey, what? What are you doing here? Copper. Got you too, huh? Well, I'm all right. Did you get him? Did you see him? Which way did he go? Uh, upstairs, I think. I hope, ma'am, that you believe that this is a, this is a very rare happening here. Oh, well, that's all right. I hope you're not hurt. Wait a minute. Maybe he got into a vacant apartment. Well, this is the only one. How about having a look? Oh, I, I know he didn't go in there. And, uh, by the way, the apartment isn't vacant anymore. I'm taking it. You want it immediately? Yes, I do. The rent is $100 a month. $100, all right. In advance. Very good. I'll take another look upstairs. Here's $25. I'll pay the rest later. Well, thank you. I think I'll get the missus to wrap this in ice. Yes, I would if I were you. I'll bring you a receipt. Oh, no hurry. I'm leaving soon. Tomorrow will do. Mace? Okay? Yeah. How am I going to get out? There's no hurry. What do you mean, there's no hurry? Because there's no hurry. Oh, I see you own the joint, so we could just sit out and take it easy. That's funny, but that's just what we can do. I don't get you. Well, listen, they were coming in here, so I got them off the track by making him believe I was going to take the apartment. Well, he believed me. Well, that was fast thinking. And I can understand... I mean, I can understand why he believed you. You know, there's something about you that... Sure, he'd be willing to take a chance on you, see? Sure, I get it. But we'll wait till it's dark, hmm? Maybe it ain't some place to wait, huh? How'd you really like to hang your bonnet up here, baby? This is a dream, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a spiffy layout, all right. Oh, look at the bedroom. Come here, Mason, look at the kitchen. I don't get no kicks out of kitchens. Oh, wait, you really see this one. Hmm. All right? Sure, this is some kitchen. Hey, what's this? That's your pal. Oh, this is a dumbwaiter. That's what I said. Look, how's that? Tenant was a girl. She is. Well, she's got a funny face, for a she. Open the dumb waiter and take a peek. So that's the gag. They're together. What do I like to do this for? That's what I'd like to know. Come away from here, mate. Oh, why? No, he's taking a chance. Somebody might. Oh. Be. Well, let's explore some more. Now, this is the dining room. Yeah, I know that. I was born in a house. Well, 
I never saw anything like that before. Look at that bed. It's pretty, all right. Pretty? That don't describe it. Look at it. Geez, I heard of beds before, but I never took no stock of what I heard. Beds have always been just flops to me. That says something. It's the kitchen that gets me. Oh, it ain't the kitchen that gets me. Look at that bed. I'm looking. It don't even look like a bed. It looks like a sofa. Come on, sit on it. I know how nice it all is. I wish all this was mine. Well, I wouldn't be wishing that. But I could have breakfast with you in a joint like this every day. Well, for a week, anyhow. Then you'd be sick of it. Oh, sure. The view ain't so bad, either, hmm? What's the matter? We're in business together. It's just as strict as ever. We're only three bucks away. What's three bucks between pals? And if we had the three bucks, what do you think would happen then? Oh, let's be friends. We are. Are we? Friends. Calling car number three. Car number three. Catch it. Go to 949 Kings Drive. Arrest man wanted for assault. Now hiding in apartment. That is all. Dinner's ready. Dinner? Please, me. I want you to eat a dinner I cooked for you. Eat what? Use your imagination. I don't eat with my imagination. Please, me. This is a funny thing you want to do. Oh, go on. Have a little more roast beef. Please pass your plate. Thanks. So this is what it would be like, huh? Yes. This is what it would be like. The same thing happening every night. It would drive you crazy, wouldn't it? Do you want some mustard? No, I never use it. How long could you stand it? That depends. Oh, I mean with Mr. Chicago. That's different. I think I cooked the beef a little too rare. Oh, I wouldn't say that. But there's a little too much sand in the spinach. The asparagus is great. Oh, there's no question of that. Have some more. No, thanks. Yes, those things all depend. I think life in a little place like this could be very beautiful. It's not had enough of this. I'm not that way. Four walls ain't for me. Outside, out. That's me, I tell you. I ain't gonna go soft for nobody. You can slip that stuff to Mr. Chicago. I don't want any part of it. But you... Mace. But Mace what? What do I care for Mr. Chicago? It isn't four walls. It's what's inside of them. You talk about a home like it's a cage. I don't. It's two people, Mace. Two people. And it's exciting. You're a funny girl, Lily. I never know what you're gonna pull next. But I suppose if you had to stand it for two weeks, you'd jump out the window. No, no, I wouldn't jump out the window. Anything under a month. Cops. Speaking of jumping out the window, you go first. Why me? You got a six months rap on you. Beat it. It's locked. Lily, if we were to get a, I wouldn't jump out of the window under six months. And I never would. In the bedroom. 
bedroom. Hold that slug. That's him. Where's the woman? I see no woman. How did you get in here? That's my business. That adds a burglary rap to the other charge. Come on. What do you want a new dress for? Say, ain't that the girl that... Well, that's one of the dames that we... As long as you cannot explain what you are doing in that apartment, I will have to bind you over for the grand jury. Uh, take him away. No. Who's the dame? How oh, I know. What's he charged with? Two charges, burglary and assault. Oh, no, mate, tell him the truth. You got me wrong, I don't know you. I mean, I don't want to know you. Stop chasing me. Who is the young woman? It's a dame has been trying to get in my hair, Judge. Your Honor, this is the lady whose apartment he broke into. What about his young woman? She don't know nothing, Judge. He didn't break into my apartment, Judge. He was calling on me. Oh, in that case, there's no burglary charge. He's afraid I'll get mixed up in something. That's the only reason. But how can I? We haven't done anything. Did she help him assault you? No, sir. Then that charge would not involve her. Sure it would. How do you plead to the assault charge? I hit him, Judge. Six months. Six months? Please let him go. Oh, what's the use, Lily? But, but we'll get out of town, Judge. If, if you let him go, we can get a job. Please, Judge. What do you do together? I'm the cane girl. Cane girl? On a carnival, Judge. We're heading for Chicago. He's got the tickets in his pocket. Show him the letter, Mace. You changed your mind? You would go back to the carnival with me? Yes, Mace. You do that for me? I'd do anything for you, Mace. Oh, gee, Lillian. No, but it's no use. We can't beat this rat. We can't do any planning for six months. What'll you do, Chicago? Chicago? I'll be on the other side of the jail wall if that's Chicago. I'll eat and I'll sleep there. I'll live against the wall. I'll live there. You will? I'll live there. Then listen, I'll never be in jail. They'll just think I'm there. I'll be outside with you instead. I'll come out and meet you right through the wall, see? Something in here will go right through. It'll take more than a cop to stop it. Nothing can. We're in love, Lily. What do we care? We don't. We're in love. We don't. <laughs> what are you going to do about that? Six months. Six years. Sixty years. We're in love. Look, we're just talking to each other, and I love it. <laughs> isn't, isn't it crazy? <laughs> you feel a crazy feeling between us, do you? It's in my heart. It's going like that. <laughs> it ain't got any sense. It's, it's bug house. Oh, man. Oh, Lily. <laughs> Why, no, that ain't the same girl, is it? No, looked like her, but... So I says to the missus, it's about time you had a new dress. Just a minute, Judge. Is, uh, is there any way we could uh, get married? Right away, I mean? Why? I guess so. Yeah. Uh, will you take care of the license? Yes, sir. Hand me the Bible. I suppose any young couple getting married deserve one present at least. So I guess I'll give you one. After the ceremony, both of you get into the wagon. And if by chance it stops at the railroad station, get out and take the train for Springfield. Oh, Judge, really? What can I say, Judge? <laughs> You've said enough. After all, I don't want you breaking through the wall. It's tough enough as it is. Sentence suspended. Anybody here got a ring? I got one. Came in a box of popcorn. This is the ring I've been looking for. 
looking for. It's worth a million. Join hands. Thank <laughs> you. 